Hi, this video will get you started with a demo product listing web page to understand the basic workflow. So, what is the product listing page? To put it simply, it's a list of products based on a category or search query. It usually has multiple pages. Also, items on a product listing page share a similar structure. Let's take a look at our demo web page. This is a demo product listing page with multiple pages. Suppose we need names, prices, and product URL without entering the detail page. Follow us with four steps to get the data from the demo page. To begin, we need to copy the URL into Octoparse. Click Start to create a new task. We need to create a pagination to tell Octoparse to scrape data from all pages. Basically, most listing pages will set pagination bars at the bottom to navigate. So, we just scroll to the bottom of the page to find it. Click it. Then choose Loop Click Single URL in the tips. It may not be the same option every time, but if there is an option containing Loop Click, such as Loop Click the next page or element, choose it. Pagination now set. Click Pagination box then choose Click to Paginate to check if it works. Now we need to create a loop to get the desired data. Select the first listing product block. Make sure the whole block instead of a single element is selected if you not only need that element. Click Select Subelements and other similar blocks will be detected and highlighted in red. Then choose Select All. Now you can click Extract Data to complete the workflow. If the option Select Sub-Elements is not triggered or other similar items are not detected, you can select two or more blocks in Rouse to have them selected. However, the data we need is included in a single column, so we need to extract them separately. Select Product Name, for example. Then click Extract Text of the selected element. Do the same steps to extract the product's price and link. Finally, we can delete the first column in the Data Preview section. You can also manage all the fields here, rename them, or reorder them. Now, a complete workflow is on the right side of the Octoparse interface. Save the task. Click Run and then run the task locally to see the real-time results. And that's it. Open Octoparse now and create your first listing task to scrape listing items with us.